Hey Pokemon lads and lasses, this is Vcon Kdub and I am back with the second in the Youngster series in the Pokemon Trainer Gauntlet. We are moving on to the Great Ball round where our first battle is against Pokefan Carmen. Let's see what she can dish out. Now you might not expect a lot of punch coming out of her team because it looks kind of cutesy, but you never should discount what this team can do. They can encore you, the Pikachu is holding a light ball, Mr. Mime's always a pain, and so is Metronome. We're gonna lead off with Jet because we get Stab. That's generally good. Until we encounter the Pikachu, which is actually might outspeed us. And has a light ball, of course. So we have to switch out to Barbie, who is ground type and can avoid that Thunderbolt which we assume it's going to use. Oh no, it's a dy dynamic punch instead. Okay, miss, we're good. Let's try to use Earthquake. Okay. And down goes Pokemon number one. He didn't have a Togetic, so he couldn't switch to anything else really. Alright, so it's Clefairy, Metronome, Encore, Sing, and Moonlight. Should be pretty easy to get through. We'll give it two Earthquakes. First one is doing decent damage. Very nice. Sing is not really good. Nor is falling asleep. But it's just a Clefairy. We can get through this. Oh god, it just used Explosion for Metronome. It got Stab off that, too. N naturally, Barbie's gonna faint from that. Um, wow. Totally random Explosion from Metronome. And it actually worked. We are proceeding from Battle 1, Battle Scarred. And we won't receive our... Very valuable continue for later on. It is the Great Ball, never discount it. He sends out Togetic, I send out Venusaur. Let's see if this goes a little smoother. I'm gonna Leech Seed just in case, because I really like the extra health coming in. Togete a Togepi is actually kind of buffy. Synthesis doesn't do anything. But it is using metronome, so you can never discount what it's doing. Sorry to be repetitive. Alright, Razor Leaf. Pretty good. We just need it to hit again. Spike Cannon from Metronome does get stab, but it is ultimately very weak. Nice. Be nice if this hits, and no! We could have ended the battle right there. Instead, I get confused. You're not sorry about anything, Carmen. You did that on purpose. This isn't a contest, but it, as we learned last time, the Pokefan team. It can win all the cups, and I did use Encore strats last time. Now I'm stuck using Razor Leaf. If the, even if this doesn't hit, Leech Seed will do it, but it does. Battle 1 is done. I hope that sets the pace for all the weirdness that happens. The next battles aren't as random, but dang. Metronome explosion. Ah. Can't get over that. All right. Up next is our mirror match against Youngster Wyatt. Sporting the same team as us, only downgraded, devolved. De so Jet would be an ideal candidate to start this off. It's our only flyer and can wing attack half the team. Ah! 
So we're met with an Ivysaur, which we can just easily wing attack. Of course, if it has a Quick Claw and Leech Seeds me... Uh oh, that's not good. Critical hit, come on. Yes! Oh, wow. Okay then, Ivysaur's down. Next, please. <laughs> Okay, Digio uh Pidgeotto. I almost said Digimon. The number of remaining Pokemon is three to two. This battle outcome is still I thought about switching, but then it's Pidgeotto. I could take him, even with Leech Seed. Return is very powerful. Sandhex oh no 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 no. We don't want that. We just need this attack to hit. Okay. Pidgeotto's down. Alright, so... Ditto's la all that's left. Switching would just give him a free turn. But I'm going to take a risk here. I still got a better color. I get the first earthquake. Oh yeah. Critical hit. The second in one battle for us. And we win! Yeah, if any of you thought that the Ditto would ever come into handy, uh, watch my Pokeball round and then talk. Ditto is utterly useless. I just pretend it's not even there. It's kind of true if we ever get an unknown on our team or Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet is completely useless, but it's highly predictable. Alright, with the fire types, it's probably best to just start off with Jet again. And Barbie. Hercule, if I absolutely need something powerful with longevity. But I might as well give him a problem right away and just start earthquaking. We are going to be outsped by the Rapidash. And by most of them. Needle Queen's speed is not that good. Okay. Stomp is very weak. We don't want flinches. No flinch. Good. Earthquake. And first one's down. Fur comes out, and he's pretty weak. He just, I don't know, he always struck me as something with a lot of HP and no real oof to him. I hardly know what to do with my moveset, honestly. He goes for a sunny day, and yet it can really only use Fire Punch. The movesets in round one are just so bad. We would not be getting through the Pokemon as easily, I'll tell you that. Lastly, Vileplu comes out. It can use Solar Beam as much as it wants while the sun's out. I can take one. It's got a Miracle Blurry, so paralyzing it with Body Slam would just be a kind of a waste of time. Yeah, that did nothing. 
The white hot man continues. But I am gonna switch out. Here comes the Pokemon Wave. Because you can never discount the critical hit possibility. Oh, it's bigger. Grass is weak to flying. What do we do? It's not very effective. And we're in good shape. We'll just wing attack, attack for the win. Ugh! Come on, Pidgeot. Make something faint. Alright, that's not a problem. We'll try this again. I almost wonder if I would have gotten more attack with return, honestly. Alright, battle three is over. We gotta continue out of it. Moving right along. I am glad we're getting through the beginner teams and all the cute teams. Getting them over with. Eventually there's a rainbow at the end of it. We will be able to use that fire breather team next. Pretty decent. And as well as this biker team. So, spoilers, that's the next two teams for you. This one doesn't seem to be boasting too much. But more we can experiment with. This is, that's what this whole thing is about. Experimenting, see what works. I'm going to start with Jet, since I can wing attack and avoid any earthquakes from the Sand Slash. As well as the majority of its moves. It can only use Thief and Rock Smash on me. I wanted to switch out because I didn't want it to steal my Miracle Berry. Plus, Venusaur is sort of a better switch anyway. Here's the first move. That didn't accomplish much. There, he went that way now. What is that? Will this Pokemon just have All right. Let's go Razor Leaving. A furious attack. Critical hit. Yes. Six times the damage. It will last to only one damage. One down. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. Okay, this Dunsparce is kind of annoying because it likes to use Swagger and Glare and Screech and Rollout. And with all that health, I want a piece of it. Now, my defense is already down by one stage, so that's not going to bode well. Time to switch out again. Here comes the Pokemon Wave. The Pokeball opens to reveal its Pokemon. Back to Jet, who still has his Miracle Berry. An intimidating player. It's tricked by paralysis. Or temporarily paralyzed. It corrected its status using a held hydrate. Now, I can Toxic him, or I can just go for the return. So I'm going to play the long game right along with him, just in case he decides to play the Glare Swagger game with me, and he's definitely doing that. All's going to be really good for me, because I can just totally use my stat-powered Swagger-boosted return. That would be ultra powerful. Ooh, we got it. Here it comes. Yes, got him. Dunsparce is nothing more but a bunch of HP. All right, this coughing cannot use Dusty Bond or explode. It can haze, which wouldn't really help him. 
And it uses sludge. What's that? Oh, it's the poison! A hot battle is unfolding! We do get poison, not a big deal, as long as we land a hit. <laughs> Okay, now I could still be confused, and I'm just gonna go for it. One big return, let's get it. Alright, we got it. I could have played it safe and switched, uh, switched to uh, Nidoqueen. But when you play these cups like, oh, right in a row, you kind of just want to get to the next battle. And you're not going to really need the amount of continues that you win here. Nope, that's all coming in round two. Alright, halfway over. Let's go to battle five against the teacher. The double teaming teacher who is a pain in the Pokeballs. She annoys every team that comes up against it. If it can't take down the Giraffe Rig or the Apom in one hit, we're in for a long battle. Now, I do have Jump Plus, so I'm going to start with out with Wolfsbane, and he's going to start crippling the Pokemon that comes in. So if we have Apom, Thankfully, it doesn't have double team, but it does have agility. And that's all it can baton pass. So we're going to have it baton pass the leech seed. And it hits. That's okay. Speed really isn't an important. In, at least in this fight. Okay. Look at that fight. It doesn't know Psych Up, which is nice. I want to get at least maybe one or two flashes on him. No. At least the accuracy is there. Well, well, well like, the Leech Seed is there. Okay. This Montine is one of his her tanks okay unfortunately Wolfsbane is not going to be able to stick around can't really survive a wing attack and switching is pretty much out of the question too so I second guess it I can actually survive this I can't really switch out Montine's got some decent HP. Maybe I can put it to sleep. Yeah, I realized I was very stuck with this, uh, the, what my picks. Awesome. Flash once. Full health, very nice. Flash two. It's turning awful. I'm gonna bring out Hercule. Awesome, it's missing. We just need one Mega Horn. Oh man, what was I thinking? I think I realize it's four times weakness to the flying attack. I kind of wanted to trap it, 
Because I didn't want it to use Surf. That's why. Alright. Quick Claw. No. Oh, it worked. We're confused. Alright. We got the Thunderbolt. Ending its run. But now I'm confused on whatever it switches in. Another move would have been just switch to Jump Puff, anticipating a Surf, but nope. I wanted to be, be, to be confused. Alright, so Kadabra comes out. I can survive one attack. Uh, maybe. I definitely can't keep her out here. Yeah, nope. Psybeam is going to be very much trouble. So. so it's up to Wolf Spain to cripple Kadabra. Say that three times fast. Cripple Kadabra, cripple Kadabra. We can easily eat the side beams. And we outspeed. Leech Seed right away. Unfortunately, this cadaver knows recover, so I have to slow it down too. However, it does have a Paralysis Cure Berry. So we need two of these to hit. Alright, that's one. The side beams are adding up. Still no confusion. Great. Give us some health. Leech Seed and Leftovers, that's great. Alright. I don't know why I went for Sleep Powder instead. Maybe to use Flash first. Let the Reflex wear off. Gain some health back. Oh, I know. This is how we're ending it. I forget the Montine's gone, and so is the wing attack threat. So, we are going to drill away with Megamore. Ending this fairly long battle. Got it. Six times effective. All that's left is that annoying A-Palm. Come on. Got him. Oh, no, no, no. It missed. No, no, no. Oh, God. We got to play the swagger game again? Nope, we don't. False alarm. Bitterberry saves the day, and so does Hercule. That one hits. This teacher is dismissed. We are so done with this battle. And this is just a great ball. Yes, we've seen the Master Ball, and it's equally hard. But round twos? The tanks that she switches to are just superbly strong. But we don't have to worry about yet. yet. I'm really getting ahead of myself. We have many teams to get through. Including very... Unacknowledgeable teams like this one. Grown up, it's okay. I mean, we're gonna get Gengar and stuff, but... This is very unremarkable. Uh, going up to battle against it. It's just a bunch of mean look first, then confuse Ray. 
And if you can take advantage of Mean Look, then you have a way out. And especially normal types are especially strong in this battle, but they can get around the ghosts. Always bothered me, though, that Confuse Ray hits anything. It doesn't even matter. And yet Thunder Wave is an electric type attack and can't paralyze ground types. Alright, we dispose of the Haunter with two wing attacks. And I assume we're going to do the same with Mystery Boss. We're going to wing attack right away. Mystery Boss's HP really isn't that high. It's going to be a three shot. And as soon as it goes for Confuse Ray, we are properly defended. I think Steel Wing increases defense. One in ten? I knew it was a three shot. That's my justification. Alright, what's left? Our mean look turns are going to be over with. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, we're gonna return Murkrow. Can't wait to use that. And one wing attack later. The unremarkable stage battle is over. Sorry, Chen. You were never a threat. All right, on to the semifinal. We're making it through. That one was nice and quick. Let's see how we do against the fairly slow Pokefan Baxter. Yeah, if you look at his team, nothing's gonna strike first for him. But they all boast pretty good attacks. The Lantern's probably the worst threat. The only thing they can get through it is Venusaur. The semifinals begin. Despite their numerous battles, the remaining Pokémon still look ready for more. So that's who I'm starting with. And if Macargo shows his ugly face, we'll switch out. Alright, this Lickitung does actually know... Oh, no. No, I'm thinking of another Lickitung. It does not know Fire Blast. It knows Earthquake, Surf, Supersonic, and Screech. But I don't want to deal with all that, so I'm putting it to sleep. I'm going to Leech Seed it, because it's got glorious amounts of HP. In fact, same about the HP Venusaur has. What did you name your Venusaur, if anything? Sound off in the comments. It hardly even looks like a dinosaur. If anything, it looks like what really we'll fat. Or just wide. It's not fat, it's just wide. It still won't wake up. Alright, we're working our way through here with They're Razor Leaf. We need a critical hit for this. Watch this. And we get it. No! You it have got to be kidding me. You're going to leave me with a screech. A It's okay. Which seed will sap the victory. Oh, we had no strength left. We're 
eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokémon. Oh, it's Sunflora! Alright, Sunflora comes out. We can't really do much to the Sunflora. But I can paralyze it. There's the attack! Hit! That All it can good. do is really pedal dance and actually it does no sludge bomb, which actually you should have used. What's next? It's not very effective. The white hot battle continues. How's that? Yes, it's All right, a hit. one more will do it. What now? That didn't accomplish much. The heated action continues. Body slam! There it is. Right! That's the hit! Oh, which collapse! Alright, what's left? Just one Are you Pokemon saving? Was it Lantern? Oh, it's Lantern! Yep, there it is. This is the last Pokemon! They're both hanging tough. I do apologize if the sound is what's delayed it? from the oh, game footage. I don't know why it happens. Maybe it's my recording equipment. It's just occasionally that's what happens on a particular run. All right, we're gonna stomach confuse confusion, but if we can seed the lantern, then that'll sort of delete the damage. So what we do? We got it on the second try. Not bad. Takedown actually is gonna do some decent damage. Not as much as it, he was probably expecting, but we are going to get a good leech seed out of it, earning back. 20 plus health. Let's try to paralyze it. Or go for Razor Leaf. Either or is fine. Ah, slow down. A hot battle is unfolding. Okay. There it goes. Let's go, laser with crazy leaf. No fit, no th critical hit. How's that? Whoop! That man. Okay. Now if I can get a body slam off, we win. Yes. Finishing blow. Win. That is the semi-final. Pretty good battle. Venusaur took it on single handedly. We definitely would have had to change up strategy if that Lickitung knew Fire Blast. Just to waste them. Although seeding it is still a really good strategy. Alright, going into the final battle against the Pokemaniac. Whose team looks very underwhelming. It looks like a mid-battle team at best. They really wimped out with these um, final battles. The teacher one is much harder, in my opinion. Time for Hercule to rip through the rest of this team. Okay, this King, Nido King has Fire Punch. But it doesn't know Earthquake. So, I can switch in Barbie. Match made in heaven. No burn. Quick claw and kaboom. He does no ice punch. Uh, 
Critical hit, that's four damage. Four times the damage. Alright. Needle King is out of the picture. Barbie's gonna last as long as she does. We're just gonna battle straight through. Okay. See if we can even get a turn here. No. We'll flinch. Okay. Earthquake. Stab. Great damage. A hot battle is unfolding. Did I say battle straight through? No. I'm switching to something that actually has, can outspeed it. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. What's this? A light battle. I will just newly switch out Pokemon. Now we can make a horn away. Not one Pokemon remains. Oh, it's Gilgatar! This is the last Pokemon. Keep charge, boasting some good defense. But I'm willing to take them on. Let's see what you got. He ain't dark type yet. But he has fallen to her you. And the Pokemon Maniac team has fallen. To the youngster. Youngster has beaten Great Ball. Very simple battle. And we've won. All right, so Youngster Wyatt's team has thrashed every team in his neighborhood, but that's just it. The real bullies on the block are the rematches in the Ultra and Master Ball divisions where the trainers boast even bigger and stronger Pokemon that can do much more than taunt and tease. Now I am proud of this team for getting a flawless victory on this one, but the starting Pokemon we've been given will see their limits tested and reached sooner than you might think. Join me next time as we tackle the Ultra Ball, hit that subscribe button to keep yourself notified of all the Pokemon Trainer Gauntlet releases, and as always, I am Vcount Kdub, thank you so much for watching.